clap your hands if you love mystery. How about a story with a hole? Sam Shady relaxed back with his hands behind his head on the hood of his pickup truck as the town sheriff questioned him about his whereabouts earlier that morning. We'd like to bring you in to the station for some questioning in regards to a woman that was murdered earlier in town this morning. No need, said Shady confidently. I was three hours north in Jamestown visiting a friend. I just arrived home from driving moments before you showed up to accuse me. Sheriff Goodman arrested Sam Shady on the spot. How did the sheriff know Shady was lying? We'll get back to that. What is mystery? The definition of mystery is usually difficult or impossible to understand or explain. Mystery is not just in books, movies, and TV shows, but it is in real life. And by acknowledging that mystery is in your life, it will affect you in a good way. Mystery is in your life even if you didn't know it. So you know it's in books, movies, and TV shows, but it is also in art. An artist who is painting a painting has a mysterious message in the painting which is a mystery to most people, like the scream. Why is the guy screaming in the picture? I don't know. Mystery is also in work and school. If a teacher or boss assigns you an assignment, you have to figure out what you have to do for that assignment to get a good job review or a good grade. Mystery is in our day-to-day -day lives. You do not know if you're going to have a good or a bad day until that day has already happened. And when I look into the fridge, I do not know what is going to be in the fridge. And then at lunch, there's stuff called mystery meat. I do not know what is inside of it, but if I were you, I would not eat it. <laughs> On to a more serious note, Ebola. An article title from USA Today is Ebola's True Scale is a Mystery. We do not know where Ebola will be in years to come. And also the Malaysia Airlines flight. We do not know where that flight went even with all of our advanced technology. And then there's traffic. So, you know when you're driving home after a long day at work and just want to get home, then you run into about 5,000 cars? Why are cars on the road even if there are no police or crashes on the road? You might be wondering, oh, and hair? Why is your hair bad some days and great other days not due to weather? You might be wondering how Mr. Effects how mystery affects me on a personal level. I will tell you. I have these Turtle Beach he headphones. They're headphones that I use for gaming to play video games on, on my Xbox. And I wanted these ear plates to make my headphones more personalized. <laughs> Twas the night before my birthday. A mysterious package came in the mail. It was about the right size for my ear plates, I pieced together all of the clues, and Eureka! I solved it. Those were my ear plates. <laughs> mystery makes you think. You have to think when you're faced with a mystery. And you also have to think when you're reading or watching a mystery, because you go along the steps at the same time as the person who is solving the crime. I want you to think of mystery not just in books, movies, and TV shows, but in real life. And see how mystery will affect you, just like it did me. My sources tell me that your mission is to every day think of where you experience mystery and solve it. I have a quote for you. The mystery of life is not a problem to solve, but a reality to experience. Frank Herbert. Do you remember the story that I told you at the beginning of my talk? Have you figured out why the sheriff arrested Sam Shady? I'll tell you. 
it was because the car would have been too hot to sit on. I'm Taylor Henry, and I just solved a mystery. <laughs>